Well, welcome back to Morning Mana. It has been so good hanging out with you so far this week. We are in day five of looking at some spiritual disciplines, and today we are going to look at confession. Now, I would imagine that just saying this word in the context of church traditions and practices might conjure up some initial perceptions and concerns about this topic, but I would like to look at it from the perspective of really making sure you are being held accountable for things in your life that really it's the Holy Spirit who wants to work on with you. This is, is by no means meant to be condemning. It is actually meant to be convicting, which is where the Holy Spirit comes alongside you to make those necessary changes in our lives. His ministry is, is so powerful in that way. I wanna start by going to James chapter five, verse 16 because it hits on this process a little bit. It says, therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. You know, there are a couple of things here that I want to focus on. The first is that we need someone in our lives who, who we can tell everything to. That might be a spouse or a close friend. Ultimately, it needs to be someone who you can trust to hold the, the toughest things to know about you with the utmost care. In the context of Mana Church, our small group systems, a, a care group would be a great way to go because many times there is an accountability partner that, that can help you through the process of growth and healing. Secondly, just like the verse said, healing is the goal because we don't wanna walk around with festering wounds. Healing and forgiveness is what is going to lead you further down the path of freedom and we're walking more closely with Jesus. First John chapter one, verse nine says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What a great promise that is. But there's a process and it begins with confession. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me for a bit today as we continue to walk through these spiritual disciplines. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. God bless.